so here I am in Madrid townhouse style apartments in uh, Los Alisos I must admit this is a really really nice unit so all the units in this complex apparently are townhouses so what's special about this townhouse is it's actually three stories so what you just saw was the uh, bathroom for the second bedroom along here in the third floor looking at the master bedroom and the master bathroom it's a really spacious apartment unit and I'm here in Southern California I mean it's really really hard to find uh, units when you go up north towards uh, Northern Orange County but if you come down towards the South Orange County you giving up a little bit of that metro feel but you're getting this uh, really nice homey really nice homey uh, suburban residential feel but it's it's a bit of a compromise that you have to make but truly it's really worth the change if you're really looking for some space I mean this place is amazing it's really amazing and the price point that they're given this unit for it's truly is a bargain and it's really hard to find uh, spacious locations like this an attached garage coming right into the living room and even down under the garage there's like so much space that you can store pretty much if you're moving in especially that we are looking for this really can be this it's really amazing so this is the second location that we looked at so far the first location that we went to is like a regular apartment style unit uh, they, there's really nothing to really talk about that one you know there's nothing to really write home about that's just one of the mill regular apartment style but this one is like pretty much you you know living at a regular your own townhouse and for the price point that they, they're giving this unit for is we you really can't beat this it's really amazing right now but one thing is that you need like if you're looking for like a lot of uh, light into the living room and the uh, the bedrooms uh, you need to do a little bit of lighting on your own but for the living room you have like so much light coming in and even for the small bedroom second bedroom you have so much space i mean so much light coming in like natural light coming in but but when you go upstairs the third floor you need a bit of lighting so that's up to you to do your own lighting so i'm just going to go up one more time so like I said, this is the second restroom, That's which is to go with the smaller bedroom. So uh, smaller bedrooms actually, going when you go down the stairs, you look right into it, right there. And you come up the stairs, going right into this restroom right here. There you go. All right, so the last time I caught myself in the mirror, I'm trying not to do that oh, there it is bathtub is pretty basic but given the facts all the other amenities that you're getting getting in this uh, location that's a that's that's really okay you're really not giving up too much and this is the master bedroom all right so here we are Well, there you see myself here again in the mirror, but it's okay. Turn off the lights, turn on the lights, so you can 
look at the walk-in closet there you go so much space you know if you are a family of four or three in our case we are three people looking to move in so here we are really nice like I tell you I mean truly is a bargain okay turn all the lights here I'm gonna go back down hopefully I was able to show you pretty much everything this unit has to offer so you do your own decoration you know a house a unit becomes home when there's people bringing your stuff so there it is all right just a really quick look one more time i'm just gonna back down i'm gonna walk right back down through here okay all right the laundry room all right coming down all the way and this is the main entrance to the unit and this closet? yeah and this is a guest closet. closet right here really nice really really nice oops okay all right so I'm just, this is probably the garage door entrance here we go it's a bit dark let me turn on the light there you go what's really impressive about this place and this much you have a pretty much like a your own private storage I can't really show you inside it's really dark in here now but this place is pretty big you can pretty much bring everything your own belongings and everything should fit in there so that's about it for this place I'm just gonna go out turn off the light always remember to save the energy all right there you go turn that off probably gonna leave some of it leave that on turn this off there you go and i'm heading out so i'm gonna walk out show you the area a little bit and that is the entrance that is the entrance and this is the exact unit that we visited so hello and welcome everyone so here we are, we are driving through beautiful Southern California. Today is Saturday, February 6th, and we are driving through the city of uh, Mission Viejo and uh, Lake Forest area. And if you are someone who's living in Southern California, you are quite familiar, but for anyone else so this is pretty much the southern part of California and uh, this area is pretty much is a really nice residential area so uh, if you go up north more into the LA area so that's pretty much metro commercial uh, kind of vibe so this is more residential vibe so what are we doing today so we are looking for some apartments to rent in Southern California and uh, so today that's the purpose of our whole trip so we already looked at a couple places the first one i did not get to videotape but the second one i did uh, at the, which is a really nice townhouse style apartment unit and this third one that we are going to look today is pretty much the same uh, because for us the space is in high demand so uh, that's one of the key factors that we are looking at that and the price point so if that's gonna fit our budget 
so uh, so those two together we're going to consider but let's say for a decent price point if you are getting a lot of storage we are definitely looking into that and that's what we got with the first uh, the second actually second uh, unit that we looked at so here we are going to the third one uh, this one's pretty promising as well so pretty excited to get there and see what they have to offer all right so here we are in Aliso Creek Road so we're gonna be making a right and that's probably gonna take us right into the apartment units so I'm uh, probably this one that I can see on my right hand side maybe not let's see so yeah it's really a nice uh, sunny day for the winter time I mean usually you don't get a lot of sunshine but after some cold weather we caught a break so it's the perfect day if you are looking to do anything outside temperatures temperatures are pretty much in the uh, 70s high 70s so it's really easy on your body so we are heading straight to the apartment complex right now there's a lot of uh, shopping and dining areas so that's the key to uh, when you consider uh, finding apartments you know your commute your commute to work and easiest way to do uh, your groceries and, uh, and soon we'll be making a left and that's probably gonna take us to our location this left? Uh, no the next left this yeah. left So my dad accepted the driving duty, so um, my hands are free, so I get to shoot. All right, here we are. We're gonna make a left. Yeah, so most of the area is surrounded by a lot of apartment complexes and uh, a lot of businesses. There's a lot of uh, commercial buildings around as well. But still, um, it's everything still within the uh, suburban, homey, that uh, residential feel. Which is really not that big in our requirements but for us at this point it's more about uh, what we can get for our price point the space and most of all and uh, very decent safe location to live which is pretty much easy for commutes and everything all right so here we are in our third destination very unique looking apartment complex really has that separate townhouse style vibe and this is another location has that attached garage directly into the unit all right so this one has nice little uh, country style feel to it so Yeah, yeah. yeah like this sink. I know it's not really <laughs> nice, deep sink. Yeah. Yeah, nice burners. Yeah, it's really nice. 
But she did. I love the corner and the. Especially the Isn't it nice to have a window in the kitchen? Yeah. Right, that's really, she, yeah, she was really, a couple of the locations that we looked at, we, you know, we were going through the videos, oh, there's no window. Yeah, so, yeah. it makes a big difference. Yeah, so she's in the kitchen, so that matters, I guess. <laughs> this one is actually not a corner location, so it has less windows. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's right in the corner and looking into the uh, swimming pool. I like the flows here too. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah. And then garage access for this one is through there. Don't okay. mind our So story. this is the model? This is the model. Yes. Okay. And then um, the flooring in this one is vinyl downstairs. Oh, okay. When you have it like this, like the model, yeah. the frame will be in the kitchen already. Oh, okay. And if you happen to choose one that was carpet downstairs, okay. it's a different color scheme. And I can keep oh, you okay. updated on that yeah. too. Okay, yeah. The March 17th one is just like this with the floor as a So the appliances include already or the uh, the, the, the refrigerator? refrigerator included okay. it's vinyl flooring. Okay. Washer and dryer is always the hookups. So hookups, plan okay. for those. Hook okay, hookups. Garage. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And, um, and you always get a half bathroom too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to go upstairs. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is really cool. I really like this. Uh, Behind the door, so it's huge. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Head on the mobile, yeah. And you can see there. Actual volcano downstairs. Yeah. Well, it's a bedroom, second bedroom. I like to say that's the second one over there. <laughs> Wow, this balcony is amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, such exclusion in the... In this floor plan for the two-story, right. your larger bedroom has the really large balcony. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. It's really nice. It's a really nice setting in this apartment complex i really like that yeah it's really nice huh i, I like yeah, it i love it the back balcony is really nice here <laughs> yeah she's really hard to please so <laughs> trust me i get it <laughs> and that's the second bedroom second bedroom Small, yeah. Pretty close. Like, still has a really a private balcony in a separate one. Sorry, I'm in your way. So I'm looking right, looking right over the uh, the swimming pool area and the fitness centers right across. Uh, it's really nice. Now, what's the difference between the first one we looked at, the four plan, and the building style? This one has more of a, a rustic, like kind of a old town feel for this complex. And the other one is more like a regular townhouse feel. So that's the exterior look. But interior is uh, just like the other ones, really nice. But I gotta admit, I like the setting and the how it looks inside in this one better and the restrooms are a little nicer as well not a huge difference but style wise this one definitely takes the cake yeah. 
Yeah, this is actually a, this is a bedroom, but how they have designed it is like a little, nice little uh, office room. So for someone who's not really looking for a second bedroom, this would be ideal to do their work. And you can set up your computer right here. And you have a couple of chairs, how they design it. But even if you are to do on your own decoration, that's a really nice style to follow through. Really nice design to follow through. I gotta admit, I mean, design wise, this is probably the best one that we have looked at so far. Other two are nice. Uh, the second one that we looked at, the townhouses, which is nice. But that one's pretty much more typical townhouse feel but this one has more unique like a homey little family like feel that we really can we really uh, you know you know makes you belong here so you definitely get that vibe beautiful place yeah absolutely All right, so looking into the uh, garage, attached garage in this apartment unit. So it's a pretty decent. This one, the one we looked at before has a, you know, pretty big garage for two cars. Now this is only one car garage. So size wise, this is much smaller you know obviously but you know you also get another assigned parking space outside so which is fine you know you know that's actually better you know you don't have to go through the hassle of moving one car out for the other one to get out so and you have your laundry hookups right in now these they don't provide these you have to plug them in you have to bring your own washer dryer but that's fine you know you can rent them you can buy them but that's your own laundry washer dryer but they do provide the refrigerator so they'll give you the fridge and what's really nice is when you're coming right through you have this like half bathroom like a guest bathroom so if you are entertaining people so you have your half guest bathroom without opening your regular bedrooms for the guests so which is really cool and this dining area is really nice too and the kitchen is really modern if you look outside the building it's more rustic old town style feel but once you get in it's more of a modern apartment unit so and there's a really beautiful patio that you can walk right outside right, right outside from the living room and i mean this is really nice really nice i mean this is like your own little house your own little townhouse but you are renting you know you are renting this place but uh, hey if you don't mind you know living as in a rental property this is like one of the best places to be i gotta admit yeah beautiful unit so here is a nice little outside view of the unit that we just visited there you go and there's that balcony and that's the smaller balcony right there all right so that's it for this one Off we go. Really cool. And all of our apartments are going to have a uh, washer and dryer included as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. The other bathroom is going to be closed off and it's going to have a double vanity. 
Oh, okay, cool. So this is a storage, or oh, the walk-in closet, okay. What's the square footage of this place? This one's 823. 823, okay. And this is the, uh, you only have like one size for all your one bedroom apartments, or do you have different sizes? Okay. storage awesome oh washer dry nice cool and you uh, if I'm right you have like a like a pool side like a rooftop pool area or Oh, okay. It's, it's not a rooftop? Okay. Okay. Okay, so that outside lounge area is probably what I've seen then. I mistook that for a pool side. Oh, that pool, was pool area, there. yeah. There's yeah. Be on one of the oh, okay. Areas. It's under construction right now, so I can't show it. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, okay, cool. So one, uh, both of them like underground? Uh, yeah, they're going to be underground. Oh, okay, okay. And we assigned the uh, parking spots close to the apartment too. Oh, cool. All right, so uh, we are on our way to see our fourth and final location. So uh, to do like a quick review of what we've seen today, we gotta admit, all the places that we have seen so far are quite impressive. So finally, now it comes down to uh, we are choosing which uh, property fits our needs at this point. So uh, yeah, so we'll be making our decision based on that. So once we uh, finish our final tour of the day, mm -hmm. so we'll have a pretty decent idea of what we want to do. All right, so here we are at the leasing office for this apartment complex. So we do have a little bit of a wait time. So we're doing all the initial checkups before we can get in. And also I'm finding out talking through the face mask is not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> Anyways. So once we get the clearance to go in, we will go in and take a look. So just to give a quick outside look of this place. This one has a pretty uh, decent regular apartment style feel to it. This is usual like the more common kind of apartment complexes that you can find throughout Southern California. So, uh, yeah, but still very located in a very nice area and uh, this one probably has like a lot of decent amenities to 
provide as well so once we get the clearance to go in we will go in I don't know if all of us can go at the same time or two of us and two of us can go and then the next person can go in we'll see so once I get in I can uh, start recording once again all right then so we got the clearance to go in but for this one we get to go on our own so we have to do this tour on our own which is actually good you know rather than uh, having another person go with us we get the freedom to do the tour on our own and you know take our time with it and also don't have to worry about as to how many people go at the each uh, go at each time and which is really nice so i'm pretty sure that uh, the apartment unit that we are going to look at is right around the corner all right so waiting to see the exact number Which number we are looking for? 8307. 8307. These are 700s. Prime guy. All right, so we finally found the unit that we are looking for. So this is the open unit that they have available. And I gotta admit, it took us a while to find this unit. Now, as you can see, how this uh, property is set up. Uh, it's kind of a bit complicated. So uh, there's a lot of climbing we had to do and going through some corridors to get here but anyways we finally here so I'm just gonna open the door and see what we have here all right so I'm pretty sure this is the second bedroom okay so this one has pretty decent size uh, closet with sliding doors and, and obviously you can see the mirrors two pretty big mirrors that actually set up and, and have a pretty decent size windows which is nice but it's pretty basic pretty basic apartment unit all right so here's the second bathroom so this is pretty much right next to the second bedroom all right pretty decent sized bathtub which is nice all right trying not to catch myself in the mirror again okay and I'm pretty sure this is a yeah this is a storage right by the main entrance to the unit and this is the living room the ceiling fan and also pretty basic kitchen actually nothing really uh, stand out yeah nothing really stands out about this unit pretty basic type of apartment Turn on the lights. 
and this is the master bedroom once again pretty uh, decent size bedroom nothing too big though and you have a walk-in closet usually pretty much in all apartment complexes you can find the master bedroom having a pretty decent mid-size walk-in closet which is pretty common and here we have the uh, master bathroom once again decent size bathtub and nice little bathroom with a nice uh, upgraded modern style sink Yeah. It's really three not that bad, but uh, when you compare with all the units that we've seen so far, this one, uh, at least for me, don't really stand at the top of the list. All right, I'm going to try and get into the balcony. The sliding door is really tight, so I have to push it really hard to get in, get outside. Here we go. All right, here it is. Nice covered balcony. So far, from everything I've seen in this uh, property, I think this is the best part about this unit. You have a decent size to have your little uh, patio furniture out and uh, with the roof covering it so you don't have to worry about in uh, rainy conditions you know you can still keep your furniture out and you can still come out and stay here so that won't be a problem so just gonna go outside and take a look at the unit from the balcony and gonna go walk right through and gonna look right into the kitchen and there's the entrance all right this is the main entrance and once you walk in you're gonna see the smaller bedroom and the adjacent bathroom right next to it and I'm gonna come back up come all the way up I'm gonna go through the kitchen and here we have a little uh, I think this is the TV room or the nook actually uh, this is more like a breakfast nook you can keep your breakfast table and enjoy your breakfast over there and have actually have the TV room right here that's the TV you can set your flat screen whatever right up here and uh, but all in all the arrangement the layout of the unit is really nice gotta admit what I don't like is definitely the carpets throughout the, the unit except for in the uh, restroom obviously and uh, and the kitchen area but the rest of the area is very pretty basic throughout the unit is carpet so uh, they have the carpets yeah all over the place there you go all right so that's it uh, that's pretty much it for this place So I'm just going to do the right thing and turn off the lights. I'm going to walk right out. There you go. So that's it. So uh, that's the quick tour of the last 
property, the uh, last apartment that we're going to look at today. This is going to conclude the apartment hunting for us for the day. So I think we've seen enough properties to make a decision. All right, I'm going to come back right up. All right, coming up. All right, so that's going to conclude the uh, apartment hunting for us for the day. And uh, I think we've seen enough to make a decision. And uh, we will uh, consider everything that we've seen. And uh, we'll be making a decision based on our needs. So we have concluded our tour for the day. So uh, we are heading back home. So on the way back, uh, hopefully you can see some of the beautiful sceneries Southern California has to offer. So uh, yeah, so hopefully you will enjoy all the uh, properties that we had to show today. And we truly enjoyed it. I mean, it's really nice once in a while to get out and see some of the other apartment complexes and houses that, you know, uh, we get to see over here and uh, to get out and take a look at them, you know, at least. <laughs>